by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to type HTML code directly into your app and add in any sort of feature or component that you like, such as this rating bar. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Donald, and in this Thunkable tip, I wanna show you how to add HTML directly into your web viewer. So what we'll do just to test this out is add in the web viewer, of course, and we'll put a button under here to load or reload. Let's do reload uh, like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna essentially inject or use or uh, code HTML directly in our blocks uh, so that we can display it in the web viewer. So the trigger for this, because we're testing it out, is going to be button one like that. When it's clicked, what we'll do is we'll set the URL like this to be um, a string. Uh, it'll be data colon text slash HTML and then comma like this. And if you want then what you can do is you can put in some HTML tags. You can write and format. This is really handy then for doing some sort of simple formatting I suppose. You can do a lot of this stuff in the um, uh, in the label itself but if you wanted access to tags that you don't um, can't type and text at the same time uh, that you don't have access to within the label then of course what you can do is um, add them all in here in the web viewer. So let's have a look here. Let's see if I've typed everything incorrectly. Yeah, so we've got bold text at the top and just plain old paragraph text then underneath that. Uh, so everything gets wrapped in, in HTML tags and um, you can display it within the web viewer. So you can use data colon text slash HTML comma to start putting in HTML tags and text directly into your document like this. So just to give a quick shout out to Ben, goes by the username I love Thunkable in the Thunkable community uh, for highlighting this over there in one of his posts uh, a good while ago at this stage um, but it's uh, worth pointing out. So there's a couple of useful things that you can do with it to make our lives a tiny bit easier. What I'm going to do is join together two strings of text like so. Okay, And then what you can do is if you know a little bit of HTML or you found a template somewhere what you can do is open up your favorite uh, text editor like so. And then uh, you can start typing in some HTML code like this. So we put in a uh, title text up here and then what we can do is we can put in some uh, tags, some formatting tags at the top let's say and then what we can do underneath that then is we could even put in some uh, dummy text uh, if you've got one of those. Okay so we can copy everything in HTML like this and we can go back into uh, Thunkable like this, paste that in here, join the two of them together, and now when we test it out, um, we'll see that this all loads on our page. So now we get more control over the text alignment, the text layout, any sort of spacing and margins and padding and stuff, so we can actually load it directly in here. But, I think anyway, one of the most interesting things is the ability then to start adding in some CSS. So what about if we give uh, kind of a light blue perhaps, uh, light blue um, color to the background and what about if we made our uh, headings, uh, let's give them, let's just give them a like yellow color or something so they stand out, um, maybe orange would stand out a little bit better. Okay so again same idea, we'll just copy and paste it straight over into our text over here. Okay, and now when we go and click that button to reload, we should see that not only is the HTML applied, but the CSS gets written to the document as well. I think that's really interesting because it opens up a huge amount of possibilities. So for instance, if you've got like some sort of material design component or some sort of web component that you've found and that you like and that you want to put into your app, that means all you need to do is grab the um, HTML, grab the CSS, or even get the JavaScript and you can um, put it into your app. So I was looking around the internet for uh, a rating bar that we could use nice and easily. So here's one here, a little five star rating bar, uh, written by Leah Veru or Leah Veru maybe, I'm not sure how she pronounces it. And it is, there's no license here on this code. So nice to obviously to, you can remix this, I think any way you like. 
but uh, obviously nice to attribute or uh, to credit the original author there if you're going to use it. So we'll get the uh, HTML here, jump back into our Sublime, um, or any text editor that you're using, and paste in the HTML here. And then what we can do is grab all of the CSS. So there's 60 almost lines of code here. You can grab all of those, make sure you got everything all the way down to the very last closing brace like this. And then back here, then what we can do is paste this into the head of our document like that. So uh, copy, same idea again. Back here now, there's loads of this to go into our text block here. So we've got a couple of thousand characters there. Um, and what we can do here is if we reload it, now we've got this nice rating bar that we can quickly and easily add into any app that we're working on. So the last little thing we'll do, obviously, um, space is always of uh, uh, the essence, let's say. Uh, so let's save this. This can be uh, ratings bar, ratings bar, uh, like so. And then what we can do is uh, just minify this, I think. So no. try again. Let's see if we can minify it. Okay. There we go. Um, so we grab it all here, copy this, and now we have 1700, 1704 characters in this one, and in the original we had 2190. So this is going from 2.1k down to 1.7k. So we've saved ourselves a good bit there, saved like 20% almost on the file size there, just to keep things kind of as small and lightweight as possible in our app. Of course, when we um, all that does is remove all the white spaces, all the leading trailing characters like that. So when we reload it, it still works in the exact same way, but we've just got a, an even lighter file size there. So really hope you enjoyed that one. I think it's a very useful tip that you'll be able to use in lots and lots of different ways. If you did like it, please click the thumbs up uh, and consider sharing the video as well and get the word out there and let people know that you can um, use this kind of technique in your app. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'd be interested to know if you'd be uh, if you'd like to see some more HTML videos. Uh, do a little bit of web design or web development in the tutorials in the future. Um, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you in the next video.